or some clean power wash. Just wanted to do the video on this Comet. I was having some issues with it. It's a um, triplex diaphragm pump. Use it on my roof system. Um, I had about 80 hours and apparently we have not been taking as good a care of it as we need to or the guys have not been. Um, it was pulsating so I you know reached out to Russ and because he can figure out pretty much anything and he told me to you know check the spring and sure enough you can see one busted spring one perfect looking spring so you can just check out the difference between those two and see that should not move if there was actually an appropriate spring there and that one is still doing great now you can see certainly the bottom um, of these valves and pistons and everything has actually been at the bottom um, certainly in each one of these and you can even see here just a little bit uh, that top one obviously is much better and that other bottom one um, this was actually a lot easier um, to work on than I was expecting um, I actually undid all of these unnecessarily um, really all I had to do was take off um, two here, two there, and two right here. Um, inside here we've got the O-ring. Do need to make sure that that's seated well. And then just put this piece back in here. Now I've got new pieces being sent to me. I am going to put it back together um, just so we can get through tomorrow even though it's certainly less than ideal. We've got just one small wash tomorrow and then um, and then the parts the next day or two, so. Um, but yeah, so just, you know, these pumps, I know they're not brand new, but certainly they're not as um, frequently used as, as a lot of the other pumps out there. Uh, I'd mess with the unloader to see if that was the issue, but again, this, this three quarter inch line had been pulsating pretty bad. Um, same thing with the um, unloader line, that was our bypass line, that was also pulsating a good bit. Uh, it didn't matter if we changed the um, speed or whatever or idled it or anything like that um, so I mean part of this I'm sure is lack of flushing um, Russ is also saying that cavitation could have caused it um, we do try and pressurize pretty much the entire system and this is um, so but anyways um, I hope that helps guys again this is the Comet triplex uh, diaphragm pump uh, it's a 150 psi 10 gallons a minute pump system um, and it apparently this is part 39 is that little spring in there so make sure you get some spares uh, when you get this pump uh, it's a pretty quick thing I mean it, as far as taking apart just pry that apart if we needed to again I'm not going to do that because this is the one that's still in good shape um, this little plastic piece has obviously come loose from somewhere else and that's not good either but again that that is the bulk of the issue here and certainly that is glad that we figured this out on a day when we're not working so anyways hope that helps thanks bye